Hey guys, I'm Kelsey with iFixit. The new year is off to a busy start, and while we didn't see any official teardowns this month, that didn't stop us from getting inside some devices. But I won't waste any more of your time. Let's get this January rundown started. We've now got tons of guides for the iPad Air 2 and the iPad Mini 4. Whether you've got a cracked screen, a dead battery, or even a problem with your headphone jack, our guides will walk you through the process of getting your iPad up and running again. And speaking of guides, the iFixit Technical Writing Project teaches university students from all over the country how to write repair guides. Check out this awesome student-created guide for replacing the motor on the DJI Phantom 3. Great job, guys. The largest consumer electronics trade show in the world got a visit from iFixit this year. Our very own Kyle and KK traveled to CES in Las Vegas and got to talk to The Verge, meet a mermaid, and get a first look at a ridiculous number of up-and-coming gadgets. While some of that tech was genuinely impressive, a depressing amount of it was underwhelming future e-waste. While we could be wrong in thinking that there really isn't a need for a hairbrush that can identify brush patterns or a smart umbrella, we know for a fact that this stuff breaks and almost all of these devices were not designed with repair in mind. You can read KK's full story about our visit to CES over on our blog. And if you didn't already know, iFixit is a major advocate for your right to repair. And 2017 could be a very good year for the right to repair movement. So far, Massachusetts, Minnesota, New York, Nebraska, Kansas, and Wyoming have all introduced versions of the Pro Repair Bill into their legislatures. If you're passionate about your right to repair and live in one of the states I mentioned, make your voice heard by contacting your state representative. Don't worry, we've made it super easy. All you have to do is head on over to repair.org and we'll walk you through the entire process. This last year, we did teardowns on a ton of new phones, VR systems, and computers, so head on over to our YouTube channel to check out our most interesting teardown finds of 2016. While you're there, we've also got a guide on replacing the front panel of your iPhone 7. Hopefully you don't need it just yet, but if you do, we'll show you how it's done. We got a ton of awesome photos over the holidays from people who got iFixit parts and tools as gifts. We're so glad you like your new gear, and we want to see what you're fixing in 2017. So be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter and use the hashtag iFixit for a chance to be featured on our accounts. Who knows, you may even see your photo end up on next month's rundown. And that's your January iFixit Rundown. Make sure you keep up to date on all of our projects by following us on Twitter at iFixit and checking us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash iFixit. Hopefully you're already subscribed to our YouTube channel, but if not, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.